Hey everyone and welcome to another unboxing and today what we have is the Eufy solar panel. So this is to work with any of the Eufy cams essentially, any of their battery powered cameras. So it works with the Eufy cam 1 and 2 as well as the Pro. It works with the 2 and 2 Seep as well as the Pro and then also the Eufy cam E. In this video we'll do the unboxing, we'll take a look at what we get um, and then we'll take it from there basically. Um, so in terms of the packaging, this looks like pretty much every other Eufy sort of product out there. Um, very recognizable, um, Anchor and Eufy sort of packaging always looks very similar to this. So it's basically, as soon as you see this, if, if this was in a store, you'd know exactly who, who, who made it essentially. So let's just pop this out and take a look at what we get. So just inside the box, we do have a little bit of foam. I'm not sure whether that's literally just there to protect the actual item. Um, yeah, more than likely it's probably just to protect the actual uh, panel itself. So there's nothing else in the box itself. Okay, so first up straight away, we have the panel itself. Let's pop that out. And this is very different to any of the solar panels that I would have actually seen online. Um, just generic sort of solar panels. As some of uh, you, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while will know, um, I've actually tried, well, I, I didn't actually install it, but I ordered a solar panel, just a generic one. And that was nothing like this. That was more like your typical type of solar panel. This is very hard. Um, and it seems a very different type of surface as well. Um, cable management on the back for the excess cable is very good. So basically you have this sort of channel just here. Just get that into focus and basically any excess cable that you have you just wrap around it um, and basically then you have these little hooks just here and basically you can hook it onto there. Now I'm not sure whether this will actually come across um, but I believe this is the output is 5 volt 500 milliamps that's the maximum it will produce. Um, I did see somewhere that it'll average 2.38 volts or something like that. That's basically just your sort of gen um, average for most people, depending on um, how much sunlight you're actually getting. Basically, it's enough to actually keep the camera running um, and also charge up at the same time. So what else do we get? We get a UFI sticker. Just bring that into focus. Standard sort of UFI sticker. We get some paperwork in terms of the manual itself. Um, general installation advice things like that and then we get the rest of the mounts now this is very important so this is the th this was basically the main problem with the sort of generic ones the fact that they don't come with any of these type of rubber grommets and as a result basically they're not actually weather sealed so with um with my particular camera so i have the eufy cam 2s and what i'll have to do is basically use one of these or, or actually no, it'll actually just be this full kit. So I'll, first I thought that I'd have to use the rubber grommet separately. So just get that into focus. So as you can see, there's a rubber grommet that you put on the end of the micro USB charging port. What they could have actually done was literally just make this universal, so made it so then um, it's already pre-installed, but by doing this, they've probably made it a bit more compatible with, with more of their devices. So obviously you have all of these additional ones. So this one is for the, Eufy Cam Solo, you have the 2, 2C and 2 Pro. Um, possibly one of these could actually just be a spare in this case because obviously what you have here is what I'll do is I'll just pop it out and we'll take a look. So this is the kit for the Eufy Cam 1s and 2s as well as the Pros. And with my particular one, having seen existing videos, I already know kind of what's going to come in here. So what you get essentially is, so you get the little rubber grommet. And as I say, this is probably the most important thing in terms of actually making it weather sealed and making this viable in the long term. Otherwise it will just get water in the port and it'll end up damaging it. And this is the other part. So this, what you have here is a cable mount as well as a, an extension as well. So essentially what this does is it mounts onto the existing sort of connection on the, or the thread on the back of the camera. And what it does is it'll hold the cable in place. So obviously this being a right, ang right angled cable, essentially what would happen is it would fit in something like this. So you, you basically plug it in, that then fits over it securing 
the connection to make sure that no matter what type of weather conditions you have, it doesn't end up getting blown out um, or, or pulled out or whatever, just unplugging basically. And then this basically secures it in place. So then basically you know that it's definitely not gonna come out. And then once you've tightened this in, it has its own little thread in there. And then basically you mount your existing uh, connection whatever your existing setup was now this won't work with the um, magnet base so this you will have to use the threaded base that I mean that's how I had mine mounted anyway if you're mounting them indoors then it was recommended that you could get away with using the magnetic base the magnet bases were pr quite strong um, but I still wouldn't feel confident in terms of using them um, outdoors just just in case because generally you're going to be mounting the, the cameras quite high and you don't want it just falling off the mag magnet base right and the last thing is the actual threaded part that's now wound down and as you can see that then gives you the thread in order to mount onto the back of the solar panel all of this construction is aluminium it's not the strongest from the looks of it um, but considering you're literally just mounting the solar panel using this and then it, it should just be left alone. Now I already have a few spare uh, tripod mounts that I actually purchased when I mounted my third camera. So because of that, I might not actually need this because generally, although this one does have a ball, ball connection, so in terms of maneuverability, it should be a little bit better. Um, the ones that I ordered were basically, they're a lot shorter, so you don't have it protruding out quite so much. Um, and they also have the ball mount as well, so you can get more angles essentially. Um, but first impressions going off this, um, it looks like it should be fine because what you can do is obviously mount that in. Um, this thread on the back, you basically wind down as much as you need to until you've got the the thread all the way in and then you use the plastic to basically secure against it and then obviously this part you want to mount on whatever structure you're mounting it to initially now the one that i'm going to be testing this with is probably initially going to be my back garden camera and the main reason for that is it's it's just easier uh, the driveway camera ideally eventually is the one that i want to actually have this running with um, but before I do that, um, because it's a little bit more awkward in terms of finding a, a mounting location for that particular camera, uh, I think initially I'll, I'll mount this with the garden camera. And um, the other thing with that particular one is that one's actually been running right, right from the start. So that one's been running purely off battery power. It's not been charged. Um, it's coming up to 200 days, so I will do a separate video on that, um, just going over the performance on, on how the cameras have actually done. But yeah, this was just a, a first look at what you get in the, in the kit. Obviously, if you do have different cameras, then you do have these additional um, grommets, rubber grommets. So that's, a, a, that'll essentially just be a spare because it looks like it's identical to the one that I've got. Um, you've got the Uficam E's and then you also have the Uficam Solos as well. And this is what the Uficam 2's rubber grommet actually looks like. And that simply mounts on the end of the micro USB port as such. And basically once you push this in, do be sure to make, make sure that it obviously mounts and pushes in correctly um, in order to get a good seal. Um, I've already mentioned in the past that the seals are not the best when it comes to the youth cams but yeah that's that's a first look what i will do is i'll do a follow-up once i have this installed with my first impressions and general usability in terms of how it actually works out in terms of whether you can run it purely off this or whether this is literally just used as a top up so obviously if you haven't already done so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon that way you'll be notified whenever that video goes live and other than that thanks very much for watching